Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, which I know I love a lot of you guys are. My name is Eileen and I used to make videos all the time, <laughs> which is what hence why I have 2,000 subscribers. I literally, I think I gained those subscribers back in 2020, I believe. Or yeah, 2020. That's when I was at my highest. I was doing the greatest, you know? And then I fell out 2021, 2022. And now it's 2023, which is freaking crazy. And here I am again because i love doing this and i had to have a very deep talk with myself to decide whether this was something i wanted to continue doing and the answer has always been yes it's a matter of will i be putting in the work will i be putting in the effort to make these videos and of course i said yes which is why i'm here anyways i don't want to go too much to the past or talk about why i've been slacking off on youtube or anything like that i kind of just want to start the new year fresh and just motivate you guys to go to the gym which is what i like doing and i feel is what changed my life so i want to like hopefully get you guys into liking the gym because i was at one point that person that absolutely hated the gym and did not understand how other people genuinely enjoyed going to the gym i did not understand that i thought those people were freaking crazy so i want you to become one of those people now i'm just kidding but um i just want youtube to be like my i don't know what to call it i want to be able to look back to my youtube videos and be proud of myself and also, you know, a lot of people start YouTube to carry all the memories that they make and have them in a certain spot, I guess you can say, and just share with the world, uh, which is what I want to do. And I want to travel a lot this year and I want to have like a memory of it and like a whole video, one video exactly where I can go back and see all the stuff that I did rather than just having all these videos in my camera roll. So essentially like what I want this YouTube channel to be is obviously beauty because I love doing my makeup. I love doing makeup products so I still want to share that on here. I love going to the gym so of course I'm going to bring you guys along with me. I think I'll usually bring you guys along when I go with my trainer because when I've tried recording in, t in this public gym I find it a little bit more difficult and I find that when I pull out my camera and people notice it they kind of like move around so that they won't come out and i feel so bad so i think i'm just gonna stop recording in here because i don't want anybody to feel uncomfortable this actually happened last week oh my god a car just pulled up next to me this actually happened last week i pulled out my camera and there was um a bench open next to me and somebody sat there and then they saw my camera and they moved i felt so bad and i wasn't gonna tell him anything which i probably should have but i didn't say anything so I just turned it off, I put it away, and I didn't record anymore. But yeah, that's what happened to me last week, and I felt so bad. So I think I'm not going to record in there anymore, and I'm just going to record my workouts when I go with my trainer, since that's a private gym. I think, yeah, it would be considered a private gym. You're actually not able to just have a membership there. You can only work out there if you have a trainer. Everybody is used to the cameras. Everybody records workouts in there. It's totally normal. And I think I'm just going to record my workouts when I'm there instead of the public gyms. In the future, of course, if I end up in a private gym, I will record in different places. Because I know like the same spot can get kind of boring. At least it gets boring for me. So, yeah, definitely I won't be recording much in here. At least not with like my whole tripod. Unless I, it's, it's completely empty like today and like I know nobody's going to be around me, then I'll definitely record it. But I just wanted to put that out there. <clears throat> that I'll only probably be recording when I'm with my trainer, which I'll be with her tomorrow. And I'll do a day in my life tomorrow too, because why not? I'm so sorry that I'm talking so much. But the point of this video is we're going to be prepping for 2023. I feel like I finally feel ready to just start <sighs> writing down my goals and getting all that stuff done, which I was looking for my phone, but I'm recording with it. So I actually have a to-do list today. I'm going to try to tell you guys all of it from the top of my head. I wrote it down this morning, but I have so much to do today since I am off. I can do a lot of these things um some of these things i will save them for tomorrow's day in the life because i can't do certain things here um i'll tell you this way right now but let me tell you guys what we're going to be doing today i'll insert a picture right here of my vision board so i actually made this vision board right before the new year because i was feeling very like inspired i was just thinking about like what do i want for myself in the future not just this year just overall what do i want for myself so whatever i started pulling all these pictures from i think i got them from google and some from instagram i think and i just put them all together and that's how i came up with this vision board so this is the actual lock, lock screen of my phone i think i want to make a different one for my ipad and just put like a different vibe on there but for now this is the one for my iphone i made it earlier this year and i'm glad i had that ready for myself and yeah so that's what the vision board i actually made mine on canva which i know a lot of people make th make them on there um, you can also make them on 
all these other apps i don't know but i made mine on canva and that i thought that was like the easiest way to make it so if you guys ever want to make your vision boards go ahead and make them on there it's really easy you just screenshot your pictures crop them and then put put them collage them i actually really recommend you guys make a vision board first of all you gotta look a cute lock screen second of all you just started thinking about what you want for yourself um that's one thing i did to prep for 2023 i knew that i was gonna have to do it before the year started because once the year started i was gonna feel like mm, i don't want to do it anymore so i made a vision board before the new year started which i recommend you guys do too as well i also want to start meal prepping again i know i said this before i felt like it didn't work out for me but i'm gonna try again and just eat a little bit more clean i'm gonna start tracking my protein intake since my goal is to gain muscle but I think I'm going to do like a lean bulk just because I don't want to gain any more stomach weight. Um, so I kind of want to do like a lean bulk. So, you know, just maintain myself, but still, you know, put in a little more muscle on the legs because I, my like physical goal is to gain muscle on my legs. I've been loving upper body days, which is what I'm going to be doing today. We'll be, we'll be doing legs tomorrow. So that's actually like one of my personal goals is to just start tracking um macros and all that stuff i need to log into my app to do that and then i did buy a scale already it's still in its box so i need to pull that out today one of the things we're actually going to do today is that we're going to go buy an air fryer because i'm actually going to start cooking a little bit more my mom cooks a lot of like mexican food and it's not the healthiest most of the time so i need to start you know cooking for myself and not like relying on her so i'm going to go get an air fryer today because i'm going to have some asparagus that my dad has been telling me i have to eat because he bought them specifically for me and i haven't opened the bag and okay tell me we're not the only family who does this do you guys do your parents leave all like the big dishes in the oven and then it's like do i really want to take all hundreds of those pans out just to cook some potatoes or some asparagus no so we're gonna go get an air fryer air fryer for that reason and i think this one that i really want is on sale so i'm excited to go get that air fryer today so that's one of the things we're gonna do and then i have to i got a new phone i don't know if you guys follow me on instagram there was like this whole drama about <clears throat> me and verizon because they weren't sending me my new phone but i finally have a new phone which is what i'm recording with right now and i have to go drop off my old phone because i did a trade-in so i need to go to the ups store i have to go to target to buy my brother something because he starts school tomorrow i have to go to best buy to get an air fryer i have to where else was on my list oh i have to go to trader joe's to get some groceries i forgot <laughs> i think that's it oh i have to go <gasps> i don't think i brought what i have to return oh yeah i have to go to marshall's to return something i have to go to ulta to return something if i brought it i did okay so we're good so i have a lot of returns um most of that kind of stuff but a lot of these things yeah it's to prep for 2023 and my goals and the fact that i want to start eating a little bit more clean so this was a very long intro and i'm so sorry i do talk a lot so if you subscribe to my channel and you don't like people who talk a lot you're gonna hate me because i do talk a lot clearly i talk a lot but this is my first video of 2023 i'm so excited for myself and for you guys to follow me along this journey um i just want to grow as a person and become way better than i was last year and yeah i just want you guys to see the progress and hopefully i motivate you guys to want to start your fit fitness journey as well or just your self-growth journey it's never too late so i hope that whatever time you want to start you start and you're just going to be so grateful with yourself because literally being alone and just spending time with yourself putting in work for yourself is so rewarding and it's the best feeling ever and i just want to multiply that this year i feel like i did that a lot last year but i kind of want to do it a little bit better this year and put more effort in travel the world and just be a better person so yeah that's all i want to tell you guys for this intro now let's actually go and put in this work and actually run the errands i have to run because girl it's gonna be 1 p.m and i'm already very behind and we have like 10 stops to make and i'm not even lying sephora ulta target best buy ups store trader joe's we have a lot of stops to make so let's get this workout in and then we're gonna Start, start all our errands and prep for 2023 so i hope you guys are excited i am drinking oxy shred in the flavor raspberry yeah really good and this is what i drink throughout my workout it's really good it's not too sweet and it doesn't have like a weird pre-workout taste it's not um 
what do you call it there's some pre-workouts that have like this weird consistency in there but this is perfect um it helps burn fat and i think it has 150 milligrams of caffeine if i'm not mistaken and yeah really good it's from ehp labs if you guys want to check it out oh you guys will see like all the stuff i drink and stuff for the gym i'll post it more once i start recording more of my life and you guys start getting to know me a little bit better so if you guys have any questions let me know in the comments but yeah let's get this youtube channel going i'm so excited for what's to come i'm gonna go inside take advantage the gym is so empty right now and yeah i'm gonna put this in the bag this is like all the stuff i have to get rid of today everything in that bag needs to go it cannot it was sitting in my room for so long but i have my gym shark little bag since it is upper body day i don't bring my huge gym bag i just have this i'm gonna have one of these just to finish it because i've been having these i'm gonna go buy more tomorrow i need to make a stop at body goods and stock up on a few things good stuff this is wild cherry it was really good okay let's go inside like i said i won't really record in there but i'll try to and we're just gonna get the ball rolling i'll see you guys in there i'm in the cardio room i'm uh, not the cardio room the cycling room now just cycling while you're doing some cardio but pretty much finished my workout i just did back and shoulders and i'm just gonna do like 10 minutes in here and then we'll head out Alive. those 10 minutes of cardio felt like 30 and it was literally nine minutes actually let's go run our errands now okay it is 3 p.m i finished my workout i know that i look like not much of a mess but a fun fact i actually don't sweat really unless i'm like dying but i swear i push myself at the gym i just it's really hard for me to sweat so i don't look like i actually worked out right now right i don't think it does but i just finished my workout i don't know what stop we're gonna make first because there's so many but i think we're gonna go do our returns first and then go to sephora then target then find a place to drop off the phones to get mailed out and then i'll see i'm just gonna go with the flow because i literally don't know where to go first but yeah i'll see you guys at wherever we go first our first stop is Marshall. Start the new year with a belt bag. You will not regret it. I promise you. It's worth it. And it's definitely up to the hype. I promise. Okay, so like the bad thing about returns is that you go return something, but you end up buying something else. So it's like no point kind of. But I couldn't find my receipt. So I had to get store credit either way. But I got some jeans that I didn't try on, which this might lead us to another return but i have a good feeling about them so hopefully they fit these are 80 dollars originally and they seem really nice this is what they look like i got them for 25 dollars. i was able to use my store credit towards this but i hate buying jeans if you know me you know that i cannot i hate buying jeans i can't they literally never fit they fit so weird these are in the style they're high rise which i love and they're like not flared but not skinny jeans either this is what they look like so i have a good feeling about them hopefully they fit i'll keep you guys updated if not we're gonna have to come back here and return them but yeah i actually i never 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 like buying jeans because when i try them on i just end up being hurt because they don't fit and yeah that's literally the only reason i hate jeans i've never found some that um to die for so we're still in the hunt for that hopefully these fit good but yeah i just had to buy them because i had store credit and then maybe they'll work out for me this time you never know okay second stop is ulta literally so upset i was so excited to try this foundation the description for this shade matched me perfectly oh shit matched me perfectly girl i tried it on and i looked like a banana that's how yellow i was so yellow I was like, yeah, no, there's no way. I can't even, usually I'll look around it. I'm like, my concealer will fix it. The bronzer maybe will fix it. 
there was no way on working around that foundation it was terrible so that's where i'm returning today let's go inside because yeah i need i can't i have to get rid of it i'm gonna try to not buy anything but no promises to myself Should I even explain myself? No. Because I got a good I got some good stuff. I only got two things, but these are actually for my brother. Like the acne patches, little dots. This is actually $40. Oh my god, I didn't know it was this tiny. This is $40. It was 50% off today. And I actually don't have a vitamin C. I don't use vitamin C. I know which is really bad. You should probably use it. And I don't know it just sounds really good so i'm gonna try this out i'm gonna try to use up all my skincare products because i always buy some and i never actually use them but this seems like it's really good if it's 40 dollars, it must do something so yeah honestly i'm just literally going to sephora to spend money because i have no business being there quite honest with you and i'm hungry but guess what i have a protein bar let me show you guys the protein bar i had my dad gets these from costco these are from pure protein and they have 200 calories 20 grams of protein little quick snack to have so i'm gonna have this i haven't had these in so long because i haven't had we usually buy them when they go on sale at costco because they're kind of expensive a little i think this is a peanut butter one so good also it's supposed to rain right now and it hasn't started which is good ma'am why are you going you have a stop sign and i don't You guys know what sounds good today? Chick-fil-A. It might be because I'm starving, but Chick-fil-A sounds good today. Hmm. Okay, I just got to Sephora. And honestly, don't ask me what I'm getting here. I'm getting unnecessary things. But I'm literally here for products that are always sold out. So who knows if I'll even get them. I didn't even want to check if they were in stock online. I just want to show up and be surprised. And I might be surprised that there's nothing. But we're going to try okay let's go in there spend some more money i literally saw nothing of what i was looking for and i smell food so now i'm like really hungry so i think we're gonna take a break and get food and then we'll continue the shopping but i'm so sad because none of these things are ever in stock now so i feel like i'm never gonna get my hands on them but it's fine um it's good for my wallet because i literally spend money like i grow it myself or something let's go get do I want Chick-fil-A? I think I do. I don't know what else sounds good. <laughs> Even though I'm literally gonna go buy an air fryer right now so I can be healthy, but here I am getting Chick-fil-A. But it's okay. I know this is a prep for 2023 video, but honestly, what's a Chick-fil-A sandwich gonna do to me? Nothing. I got the goods. I'm so excited because I haven't had a spicy deluxe in so long. I usually always get the grilled chicken one. It's healthier. But today, we're prepping for 2023 we're not starting like the whole diet thing today so it's okay and i did get fries and i did get a diet coke i don't even like soda i don't like diet coke but i'm trying to like it because when i want to drink soda like there's nothing healthier than diet coke you know what i mean so i'm trying to like it let me try it again because i can't believe people freaking like diet coke like they're obsessed with it i don't like it it has a weird aftertaste Like it has a weird taste so i don't like it it tastes like expired i don't know i don't even know what to say like it's just it just tastes expired anyways i'm gonna eat this really quickly and then i'm gonna go into target honestly i don't even have to go to target but my brother's starting school tomorrow and he needs some lead pencils and some hair gel homeboy was school because he got in trouble for a while he's starting a new school tomorrow so i need to get him a few things that he needs i don't need anything for myself i don't think but if we come across something we're gonna buy it also i don't know where my hand sanitizer is at everybody always moves it when they get in my car and i have like a whole bottle and i don't know where it's at this is why i shouldn't let people in my car and by people i mean oh i have one in my bag actually in my gym bag so prepared i have one in every bag for these type of situation this looks freaking good i haven't had one of these like i'm telling you guys i have not had one of these in so long so i'm so excited to eat this let me eat this really quick oh my god why are 
lead pencil is so expensive now. Let me get these. I always get these same exact gum, so I need to switch it up a little bit. I'm thinking these. Okay, I just got out of Target, and do you guys want to see the best investment? Well, not really, because I didn't buy it. My brother bought it for me. But look at this. Oh, hold, hold on. There's someone next to me. You know what? I don't care. I swear that they're going to tell me anything. Hold on. Wait, why isn't it lighting up as good? Hold on. Okay, so I just left Target. I, As you guys saw, most of these things that I got were for my brother, not for myself. But um, I'm going to go ahead and leave Best Buy for tomorrow. It's going to be a brand new day. It's dark already. I feel like I've been out for forever. Tomorrow, it'll be like a day of my life. Not really more like a prep. Today was supposed to be like a prep. But I realized I have a lot of the things I need to like start eating clean and stuff like that. So I think I'm going to get home, have some asparagus with some chicken. And I'll buy my air fryer tomorrow. So I'll do a day of my life since I'm going to be doing a lot more things tomorrow. And it's a brand new day. It's Monday, which I'm going to be uploading this video right now that I get home. And I hope you guys are having a great start to your new year, a great start to your new week. And I hope you guys have a great day, night, whatever time you guys are watching this. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you stuck to the end. I hope to be creating a lot much like better content for you guys. And hopefully I can just do this full time one day and because I literally enjoy doing this but anyways enough ranting for today i think i talked enough i've been talking all freaking day but it's nighttime now so it's time for me to go home and get myself ready for bed if you guys ever want to see a morning routine nighttime routine then let me know because i want to get into doing that stuff too not just when i'm out and about spending money so yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow in my next video and yeah i hope you guys have a good night i love you guys and i will see you guys in my next one bye